Hello everyone, my name is Shambhu. We hope you all are doing well. Now basically, today I am going to tell you that how you can write out a program for the demand threads and other than that, how you can access the demand threads in three ways. Okay, I will be telling you about the multiple ways uh, with which you can access out these demand threads. Right, this is all what I am going to do today. Let's pick it up here. But before moving and writing out the program, let me just quickly give you an overview regarding the demand threads. That what are actually demand threads. So we had already seen this thing in one of the previous videos. That what do we mean by demand threads? Let me read out the definition for you. That the threads which are always going to running in the background that provides support to main or non demand threads those background executing threads are considered as demand threads see there are many threads we should always run in the background but why would they why they actually run in the background so as to provide some support to the main threads or the non demand threads right so the so the basically the threads which are always going to run in the background to provide some support okay those background executing threads are actually known as the demand threads so demand threads are the threads which always run in the background to provide some support to the main thread or to my non demand thread so that background executing th threads are always considered as the demand threads first of all i hope that this definition is absolutely clear to you regarding the demand threads right now let me just open out this file and let's start writing out the program okay now i'll be writing out and telling you some different ways to access as i mentioned this thing previously as well so first of all i'll be importing out the threading here import threading now always i just tell this thing in my video and today as well i'm going to repeat this out that why we do not import the thread directly we do not import the thread directly because python does not support importing the thread directly it supports importing out the threading module before python 3 was here before python 3 we always used to write import thread only we do not use the threading module anywhere we simply write out import thread but as soon as python 3 came into running so that actually does not support directly importing out the thread okay so in that case firstly you need to import out the threading module and as you are going to import out the threading module that thread function will automatically be imported and do you can basically use that throughout your program okay this is the whole idea second thing that i have been importing out here is time import time so time is basically one of the modules that i'll be importing now by the time you have understood about the time module and you have even got the idea that's why i am importing the time module i'm importing it because here basically what we do uh click time module i'll be using here for a sleep function okay for using out the sleep i would be using here the time module right this is what i would be doing out here now, uh, okay, now what I'll be doing is this, I would be defining out a function here. Let's say I wrote out here def, okay? Now, after this def, basically, what I'll be doing is, I'll be writing one of the my functions, say that, let's say that is one underscore fun. Okay, this is my function name actually, which I have defined, I just taken out some branch of one here. So def one underscore run. Okay, after this, I'll be putting out, okay, remove, let me remove this thing, fine. Cool. Coming inside this, I'll be putting out one condition that is while true. While true means that, okay. First of all, let me keep this as capital because uh, this is a Boolean value, right? While true. Now, what are we just doing this true? Why is this true actually used for? So, we have a print statement, right? Okay. Uh, okay. So basically this true function, why is this used for? So as I had applied out the condition while true, so this means now whatever I'd be inciting inside this uh, while condition, that will surely be executed, right? What we are actually doing the while loop, we actually apply out a condition that let's say I want to print the numbers which are less than 10. So I'd be writing while a less than 10. This is what we actually do till now, right? But here what I haven't given any condition, what I want is that whatever I'm just writing, that should surely be executed. So simply I applied out my condition that is while true, fine. Come on to a new line here. Now I'd be using out my print statement. Okay, print. And here goes a uh, use of my f string. Now with the f strings you must be familiar with because we have discussed about f strings a lot, lot, lot in my videos, right? Let me repeat that out once again here that if the strings are actually used whenever you just want to, okay, let's say you're having a variable, 
okay you you are having a variable and you want that variable's value in between the uh, in between your print statement let's say you are writing a statement that this is a uh, and you just put out a language and inside uh, like between is and language you just want a value or or a like character to come which you have stored in some variable so in that case this if strings are used i'd be writing out here then you'll be getting the more clear idea that why is this if string used but okay let me uh, let me put out the large bracket here first of all after this if string and inside that let me put out the small bracket okay the curly braces curly braces okay inside this i'd be writing that okay p would be small for threading so threading dot current underscore thread dot name let's say this is what i just want to put out inside this if string okay let's say this is the one which i want to put out here fine that is done right and now what i would just do here after coming out this of this like like large bracket i'd be simply printing out that um, okay i'd write that print me this print me this thing okay or, or i would just write print me this uh, message okay let's say this is the uh, like print a statement which i actually wanted to come here fine after this what i can just do here is that i can give out a sleep time as well right so i could just write out some sleep time and give it here so uh, okay so for giving out a sleep time this is the reason for that why i have imported out the time module here in in this program that's why i have imported the time module so this is the reason simply i could write here time dot sleep and into the bracket let's say i gave here as four now what does this line actually means time is one of my module that has a function and that function is actually sleep now what is that function actually used for so that function is used for or uh, let's let's say i'm having this four into the bracket now let's say what i just want is that my statements which i am write, writing here what are number of times is executes it it should be executing a number of times after four four seconds let's say my first statement executed after that for four seconds there must be some gap some break like pause again after four seconds my second statement will be printed then again i want a four second pause then after that again at the third uh, like uh, my third statement should be printed this is what the sleep function actually does one more important thing to keep in mind regarding sleep function is that whatever the value you are going to give here that will be in seconds only not in minutes not in hours that will be in seconds now if you just want to convert that into minute or hour so that depends on you that multiplying by 60 that is the other thing but by default whatever the value you are going to put inside the sleep function it will automatically take that in the form of seconds fine this is what i was trying to right now basically coming out of my function now basically what i'll be doing is that i would be initiating that set and i'll be using the demon set is equal to true this is what i'll be doing out here fine so let's say i just make it out here as um, uh thread okay that is let's say thread underscore uh, demon my variable okay thread underscore demon here i'll be using out my threading module threading dot i could use here the thread as well because i am making out a thread here right so threading dot thread now inside the bracket what i'll be passing out inside the bracket i would be passing out my function name so target target is equal to and what i'll be just writing my function name that is one underscore fun do not put out that brackets which were there okay do not put out that brackets now target is one of the parameters which we have in the thread function in in the thread we have this parameter which is target okay what is that actually used for that is actually used for calling out the function which you have made out so let's say you are making a thread and you just want to call out your function so in that case inside the thread inside putting after like after putting putting out the parentheses you can simply use the parameter which is target you can just call out your function that is one underscore fun right that is okay put out a comma and now basically here what i'll be using i would be using here as name okay name is equal to and in this same what i'd be using i'd be using thread let's say thread uh, dash demon because i'm making a demon thread right so i could simply pass out this thing here and i have one another parameter here that is demon that is demon and now i would set that as true 
so what i was actually doing i was initiating the thread with the demon set to true right i was setting out the demon uh, to true so this is how we do this this is the first method how we just do this thing we set the demon true as like this right this is the very first method how we just do out this thing. second method i have put out i have put out actually hash here okay and let me put out some multiple comments here, comments here fine and let me go inside this okay now here i'd be having my second method now what is my second method for doing that thing out so i can i can simply write first of all my variable that is set underscore demon i can put out a dot here and i could sim, uh, simply use that demon parameter which i have used inside this thread i have used right okay let me show you where i had done that thing so yeah here I had used out this demon, right? So I can just use that simply here, thread underscore demon dot demon. The thread underscore is a variable which I had made out, okay? This one. So put out dot and I can simply initialize that as true. This is the second thing that I can just do out here. Fine. After this, I even have a one third method as well that how can I just do this thing? Let me come down and let me write here third method. Third method, right? Now, what is the third method that I can actually use out? So in that I can simply write here thread underscore demon the variable in which I have stored out my thread. Okay, put out dot and here I can use out the function that is set demon. Okay, set demon and into the bracket I can just write here as true. Okay, these are the three methods how I can just set out this two demon threads. Okay, first one I had already told you that here you can just write out demon is equal to two inside this one. Second is there. You can just use a thread underscore demon that demon that you can initialize that as true. And the third method is that you can simply again use thread underscore demon and you can just use out the set demon function and in the bracket you can pass here as true. Okay, these are the three methods which you can actually use out. Fine. Coming down, I would be starting out my thread here. So that would be thread underscore demon dot start and the brackets like this. Right now, what it will do actually. After this, I can just simply give out a time dot uh, time dot sleep and into the bracket I can just give out some value. Let's say that is a five. Okay, fine here now. And at last, my main thread ends out at this particular place. If you just want to print out some statement for print uh, for ending of your main thread, then you can do that thing as well. But I just do not want to do because we were doing this thing from a sense a long time in our previous videos. So I'm just not gonna add out that thing, right? So now it's the time for running out my program. So here we go. See, it is supposed to printed me that um, thread underscore thread demon printed print with this message. And then after four seconds, it had waited for me. And after four seconds, it printed me the second line that is print me this message and thread, uh, thread underscore de demon. So how come this thread underscore demon has been added here? So that has been added here with the help of the F strings. See. The value for the f string I have given here in this name, right? And my f string I have used it out here in this print statement. So the value for threading dot current underscore thread dot name was thread dash domain. This was uh, demo that this is the statement. This is the word which I actually passed out here, and this was the statement which I had printed out that you all know inside the print statement, right? So basically, this is how. You can use out this and you can just make out the demon threads. And these are the three methods which from which you can set your demon as true. Right. So I hope that you have got a clear and a very fair idea regarding these three things that how we can set out these three things. Right. So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.